بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Miss Layla Al-Jahani again in another lesson from our unit, Unit 2 Life Stories Inshallah today we will cover uh, the reading If we want to recall what we have taken uh, last class uh, we read a conversation, we elicited information from that conversation uh, you conducted a conversation between you and your friend. You imagined uh, that one of you is a famous athlete and the other one is the reporter. So you practice having this conversation among each other. Um, and I uh, gave you a homework on page 99. Um, so inshallah today we will um, do the homework together and we will start our lesson the reading so by the end of this lesson inshallah you will be able to scan the text for um, specific details discuss your opinion of a given topic so you we will give you a topic and you will give us your opinion about that topic okay um, before if we, before we start the lesson we have on your workbook page 99 uh, we have um, a reading uh, paragraph about whom if you've done your homework and if you finished the homework the reading was about whom there is two pictures in front of you in uh, page 99 there is two pictures excellent we have the map of Britain and we have another picture about the reading is about Prince William. Yeah, Prince William. He is a prince. Uh, is he a prince here in Saudi? No, he's a prince in the United Kingdom. So this is basically some information about Prince uh, William. Um, I will read Prince William of Britain. Prince William is the grandson of Queen Elizabeth of all Britain. He was born in London, England on June 21st, 1982. He is the elder son of Charles and the late lady uh, Diana, Prince and Princesses of Wales. He has one of the younger, uh, one younger brother named Harry. William was educated at private schools in England. He attended one of the el oldest high schools in England, Eton College. At Eton, he was captain of the football team and took up water polo. After graduation, William took a gap year during which he trained with the British Army, traveled in Africa and taught children in a small town in Chile. This is a continuation. He returned in 2001 and enrolled at one of the oldest universities in Scotland. He began, study, uh, began studies in art history, but later changed his main subject to geography. William went on to earn a master's degree, the best degree of any heir to the throne of Britain. He then decided to follow a military career and trained at the Royal Military Academy in 2006. He served in the armed forces with his brother and two years later he earned his pilot wings. In 2009 he transferred to the Royal Air Force for helicopter training he later served as a pilot in the search and rescue force. Prince William now makes public appearances and performs his many royal duties, among which he is president of England's Football Association. And like his mother, he, the late Lady Diana, he continues to help others by actively supporting many humanitarian causes. So this is basically the reading. We have some questions. I'm sure you have done it. Okay, uh, number the sentences in the correct order. So based on the reading, you have to put the events in a correct order, okay? Chronological order, if you can remember uh, this word from the previous lesson. So this is his life events. Uh, number one, Prince William was born in London. Number two, Prince William went to Eton College. 
Number three, he traveled in Africa and South America. Four, Prince William graduated from university. Five, William and Harry served in the armed forces. Six, he trained as a pilot. Seven, he became a helicopter pilot. So this is basically the events and the answer for our homework. Um, so let's go back to uh, page 18 and 19. Look at the pictures in front of you. We have two pictures I, po I have here and you have other pictures on your book. So we have this person. Do you know who is that person? Excellent. He is King Salman. He is our king. And we have the picture of the Kingdom Bridge. We have, this is a picture of Riyadh. I, I, w I would guess this is a picture uh, during the National Day, where is, there is lights and celebrations. Uh, do you like celebra celebrating National Day? Yes, we do. W what do you do usually uh, during National Days? You spend it with families, you spend it with your friends, excellent, you celebrate, you wear green. So this is uh, our king, our reading will be our, uh, about our beloved uh, king, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz. So before we read, um, I have these two questions, okay? Have you ever ha read about the lives of royalty? What do I mean about royalty? Royalty are the people who um, are not normal, who like kings, queens, uh, prince and princesses, they are royalty. They're not people, they are royalty. We call them royalty, okay? And this is a picture of the crown prince, uh, Mohammed bin Salman, uh, with his uh, king, um, Salman. Have you ever read about any of the royalty? Yes. Who did you write about, uh, read about? King Salman, you read about. Who else? Any royalty? Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Queen Elizabeth, they are royalty. And now, today, we read about Prince William. All of these people are royalty, okay? And we read uh, biographies. What do we mean about biographies? When we say biography, I read about this person, his biography. Are, is it fiction? Is it something imaginative or it's, or it's real life? Excellent, it's real life. We read information about this person, uh, this person and these information are true, are correct. It's not fiction. We read about their achievements, the, uh, what, what did they do in their life. And today, inshallah, we will read about King Salman, okay? So what do you know? Before we read, what do you know about King Salman? He is the king, king of Saudi Arabia. This is one information. What else? He was excellent. He was the, he was the Amir of Riyadh. Excellent. What else? He is the custodian of the two holy mosques. Excellent. These are the information we know. We have other information. Maybe you know some of it. Maybe there are some new information. So let's read together. Before we read, there are some words. I want you to know the meaning of it, okay? So, so we have this word, appointed. When someone appoints someone, what do we mean? So when I say I appointed um, or King Salman appointed uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman as his, as his heir. So he will be after him uh, to rule the kingdom, okay? So appointed, he assigned this person. He gave him this um, opportunity to continue after him. Appointed someone, name someone for an important position. It's not a regular position. He, he was appointed president. This is an example. He was appointed a king, for example, another example, okay? And we have the word metropolis, metropolis. When I say Riyadh is a metropolis, is metropolis, what do I mean? Is it a small city? Is it a village? No, it's a very large and a big 
city, okay? Like uh, large city, uh, like New York City became metropolis in the 20th century. In the 20th century, it became a big city, became metropolis, okay? Another word, which is investments, investment. When you invest on something, when there is something uh, you think it will be successful, you put your money in it and you invest. And later on, they will give you the profits, okay? The use of money to get profit. We have profits, yani we put our money, for example, if you have, um, let's talk about school. Um, if there is, uh, do you know the, the a place where you buy your food from? Some people, they give them in the beginning of the year, they give them five riyals, for example. They want to invest in that place. They say, خلاص, and I want to uh, invest with you. They will take your 500, uh, five riyals, sorry, and later at the end of the year, if they get profits, they will divide that profits with you. Okay, maybe the, your five riyal will become 50 riyal. So this is a profit, okay? The country needs to attract more foreign investments to improve its economy. So if you get more people to invest, to give their money, the country will be more uh, uh, improved economically. Uh, it will become bigger. The profits will be bigger, okay? Humanitarian, humanitarian. What do we mean about humanitarian? From the name human, what do we mean? A person or a group that help other, help others. The United Nations is a humanitarian organization that tries to stop world hunger. So this is something nice to do. When you do uh, a lot of good things, you are considered a humanitarian, okay? Um, the last two words, we have memorization. When you read something and you memorize it, so you know it without reading it, this is memorization. Learning something by heart, repetition, is a common technique in memorization of long text. So, like for example, the memorization of Quran, okay? You, you read it, read it, and hear it, hear it, until you memorize it, you know it by heart, okay? Uh, the last word, doctorate. طيب, you have, inshallah, when you finish school, you go to university, you, you get your bachelor degree. This is the first degree you have. After the bachelor, the bachelor degree, you have the master degree. The last one, the highest one, we call it doctorate. Okay? The doctorate degree. This is the highest uh, in learning. Okay? The highest university degree. Uh, he has a doctorate in chemistry and now teaches at university. So uh, most of the people who teach in universities, they have the either a master degree or doctorate degree, okay? These are the words I want you to know the meaning before we start the reading. Let's start with uh, our reading. You have many paragraphs. How many paragraphs we have? Excellent, we have four paragraphs. We will start uh, one by one and um, I think on page 19, not A, B, there are some questions. So I will be reading and answering these questions, okay? Um, you, we will see it in the next slide. Let's listen to the audio, the reading. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz was born in Riyadh on December 31, 1935. He was educated at the Prince's School in Riyadh where he studied sciences, religion, and the Holy Quran. He was appointed Crown Prince of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Deputy Prime Minister by his predecessor, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz. On June 18, 2012, Crown Prince Salman became the King of Saudi Arabia and the custodian of the two holy mosques on January 23, 2015. Okay, let's see. We read the first paragraph, okay? You can pause the video and read it again. You heard how uh, the audio is reading. We have three questions from part B, three questions. We have question one, two, and five. 
From the reading, I want you, from the first paragraph, I want you to answer these questions. Okay, let's do it together. We have the first one. Where did King Salman go to school? He went to school. Which school did he go to? Yes, they mentioned it. Let me... Okay, I will use the highlighter. Okay. He went, he was educated. Excellent. At the prince's school in Riyadh. So this is where he... Um, studied, this is where he get his, got his education. Question two, when was he appointed as crown prince of the kingdom? When he was the uh, crown prince? Yes, we saw here, excellent, King Abdullah bin, uh, bin Abdul Aziz, on, uh, he appointed him on June 18th, 2012. He was the crown prince. And we have another question when. So we, we are also looking for a date, a time. صح? طيب. Five. When did he become the king? When did he become the king of uh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia? Excellent. January. Okay. Uh, 23rd, 2015. Okay. This is for the first paragraph. Let's read the second paragraph together. Okay. King Abdulaziz appointed young Prince Salman as the Emir of Riyadh in March 1954, when he was just 19 years old. He served as Deputy Governor of Riyadh for just over a year. Then, he became Governor of Riyadh until 1960 and again from 1963 to 2011, when he became the Minister of Defense. He was also Honorary President of the Friends of the Red Crescent and President of the Higher Committee for the Development of Riyadh. The prince helped Riyadh develop from a mid-sized town into a major urban metropolis. He attracted a lot of tourism, business, and investment in the kingdom. Today, Riyadh is one of the richest cities in the world, and it is a major center of travel and trade. Okay, I divided paragraph 2 into two parts because it's a very long paragraph, okay? So we have this first uh, part and we have question 3. For how many years was he the governor of Riyadh? How many years he was the governor? Here, it's here, you can find the information here. Read from here. He became governor of Riyadh until 1960. And again from 1963 until 2011. Uh, so how long? From 2016 until two. Uh, 2011 how many years are they how many years and from 19 um, served as a deputy governor until 1960 so he served as a governor two times from the 1950s so this is almost six years is it yes six years I'm really bad at math and we have from 63 until 2011 so I it's around 50 years, he served around uh, 50 years, maybe more, okay? Question four, this is also in paragraph two, okay? How did he help to change Riyadh? How did he improve Riyadh? How did he change it? He helped develop Riyadh from a mid-sized town into a major urban metropolis. It means a very big city, okay? Yalla, let's read paragraph 3. For over 50 years, in his capacity as a prince, His Royal Highness worked with many humanitarian groups that offer relief from natural and human disasters in the kingdom and abroad. For his humanitarian work, he received many awards, from Bahrain, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, France, Morocco, Palestine, the Philippines, Senegal, the United Nations, Yemen, and the King Abdulaziz Medal First Class. He also supported many cultural projects. He was chairman of the Riyadh Charity for Sciences and president of the Prince's Prize for the Memorization of the Holy Quran. King Salman holds many degrees and academic awards, including an honorary doctorate from the Islamic University of Medina and the Kant Medal from the Berlin Brandenburg Academy of Sciences and Humanities. He was also awarded an honorary doctorate in literature from the University of Um Al-Qura in Makkah. Okay, 
We read the whole paragraph. You can pause the video and read it again and check the slides where we have the, uh, check the slides where we have the words and its definition. Uh, and these question part B, we already answered these questions, page 19. So where did King Salman go to school? We said King Salman, King Salman went to the prince's school in Riyadh. Question two, when was he appointed as crown prince of the kingdom? He was appointed crown prince of, on June 19, 2012. For how many years was he the governor uh, of Riyadh? Yes, as we said, he was the governor of Riyadh for about 53 years, mashallah. Uh, four, how did he help to change Riyadh? How did he improve Riyadh? He attracted a lot of tourism, business, and investments. Question five, when did he become the king of Saudi Arabia? He became the king of Saudi Arabia on January 23rd, 2015. So this is the answer for part uh, B. Let's see part A. So we will look up, okay? Part A, match each word with the meaning. So we have how many words here? Five. And we will look at the meanings and we have to match, okay? We have to match. Put the letters in the correct place. When we say abroad, abroad, okay? Humanitarian, relief, appointed. Do you remember appointed when you assign someone, when you give him um, uh, a very important job? Metropolis, what does it mean? Okay, and A, we have a big city. Which, which word from these means a big city? Excellent, metropolis. Metropolis means a big city. Talking away stress and pain. So if you have stress or pain when it's away, we call it relief. Excellent, relief. Name someone for an important position. When you give someone an important position or an important job, what do we say? We, good, appointed, great, appointed. So uh, D, a person who helps other, when someone helps other, uh, other people, when you help other people, we call you a humanitarian, good. E, in other countries, when we talk about other countries, we say the last word we have, number one, abroad. Okay, these are the answers. We start with E, D, B, C, and A. This is for part A, so we are done with A and B. Let's see part C. Write down important events in King Salman's life. Compare your answers with the partner. We have this chart, okay? We have to fill it out with King Salman's achievements. What did he do? important events in his life okay the things you are you think it's very important in his life from the reading go back to the reading and check okay um, write down the things you think it's very important uh, things happen to his life like when he uh, he was a governor when he was 19 years old this is very important صح? this is something huge it's not normal uh, 19 years old he's a governor and uh, he lasted as a governor for around 53 uh, years. Um, you can write your own thoughts, your own ideas from the reading, and you can um, then, and your friend will do the same, then you can share your ideas. That you can tell him or her what, what do you think is important, and they can share their ideas with you, okay? I, I filled out this one, but I'm sure you have other ideas, other really good ideas from the reading. Let's read. Uh, number one, what I chose is he was educated at the Prince School in Riyadh. This is something uh, important event, something happened to him. He was appointed Amir of Riyadh in 1954. He was the governor of Riyadh from 1963 to 2011. He became the Minister of Defense in 2011. Five, he was appointed Crown Prince of the Kingdom on June 18, 2012. 
he became the king of Saudi Arabia on January 23rd, 2015. So these are the things I think very important event, events that happened to him. Part D, we have what are some of the King Salman accomplishments? What do we mean about accomplishments? Huge things that he did, things that changed um, our lives. He's our king. He was our prince for a long time. So what did he do to change Saudi Arabia? What did he do to, uh, to change it from uh, a normal country to one of the biggest countries uh, nowadays? Okay, compare your answers with the partner. So look back at the reading and see what, what is the big things that he has done to us and compare your ideas. I prepared this part. At the age of 19, he became the Emir of Riyadh. Um, two, he helped Riyadh develop into a major urban metropolis by attracting tourism, business and investments. This is something really good. It changed uh, Riyadh to become a big city. For over 50 years, he worked with many humanitarian groups and received many awards. So the good things he did to humans um, also considered one of the great accomplishments. Four, he supported many cultural projects such as Real Charity for Science, um, for Sciences, the Prince's Prize for the Memorization of the Holy Quran. Uh, five, he holds many degrees and academic awards. These are the what are some of his great accomplishments. So, for your discussion, do you think celebrities? Do you, when I say uh, celebrities, what do I mean? Famous people, excellent. So do you think famous people, not, I'm not talking about our reading, now I'm talking in general. Do you think famous people um, are worth for you to look up to? So you can follow, you can imitate, you can do the same. Do you think they are good role models? Okay. Do you think um, if you see someone famous wearing something, would you do the same? Do you think it's a good way to um, have role models as celebrities? I'm hearing some of you, some of you are saying yes, some of, you, some of you are saying no. I agree with all of you. I think it depends on who is the celebrity. Is he a good influencer or is he just some, uh, someone with, without a message, without a good message? So it depends on who is this person, okay? What do you think about celebrities who speak in favor of certain causes and issues? So if you, have, if you saw some uh, of the celebrities who talk about good things, good events in their life. We will talk about this, inshallah, furthermore, uh, next class. So your homework will be uh, your workbook, page 99. Uh, what we did today, we scanned the text. We had the text about King Salman. We got a lot of information, his accomplishments, his important event. Um, we will discuss, inshallah, the given topic uh, next class, inshallah. Thank you for listening. That's it for today. Inshallah, I will see you next class.